Hello everybody, you're watching Sports Federation TV. And once again, I'll be your host, I'm Lenyuk Chetty. Now remember, this is the show that brings you all the news about all the sport in all of the Western Cape. Tonight, we've got three amazing sports joining us. And later on in the show, you will have an opportunity again to win a case of assorted bashers drinks. So keep your cell phone ready for that announcement. Now coming up today, We've got a great surprise. Many of you may not know that Scrabble is actually an official sport and one of their administrators and players will be joining us. After that, we'll be taking a look, a look at street athletics and later on soccer and SAFA football will be joining us as well. Joining me first is the chairman of Scrabble SA, Mr. Gerald Davids. Welcome, Gerald. Hi, thanks. Welcome to Sports Federation TV. Thanks for having me. It's good and to be here. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, it's, it's great to know that um, Scrabble, which is such a popular household game, is also actually an official sport. Can you tell us a little bit of the history in that development? Yes, um, I, I'm not too familiar with uh, when Scrabble really started in South Africa. But uh, if I can talk from my perspective, um, I started playing Scrabble for in the late 80s. And like you say, it's a popular hustle uh, sport. I uh, play, you know, you play at home and you're uh, around the campfire and uh, with a bottle of red wine and that sort of thing. And then, um, then of course, uh, j it, uh, I discovered that Scrabble was actually being played in South Africa. And then that's how I got involved. And um, yeah, so it's played across uh, in clubs across the country. Across the country, yeah, yeah. So almost every province or every province is uh, represented. I would say it's more it's more prevalent in uh, Gauteng and in the Western Cape, and in Durban. I know of one or two clubs. I'm not too familiar with. Uh, no, there aren't any clubs in uh, in the Eastern Cape, and uh, that's that's an area we're looking at developing. Yeah. Now, Gerald, how is it played competitively? Well, you know, you have two players across the board. Um, and um, you play within a, in a, a limited time of 25 minutes a, a player. And you, you, uh, the, uh, the conventional chess clock sort of monitors the time. And, uh, and that's how, uh, how the game essentially, how it, how it, how it works. So it's, it's a game of points? It's a, no, it's a, yeah, it's a game of words, of course. Yeah. So you use a word, you play a word in order to score points. And um, and that's how you and the the person with the highest the highest points at the end of the game uh, is the winner. Yeah. Okay. So that's how it goes. So yeah. how is the sport administered in the Western Cape specifically? Well, you know we have a, we have a few clubs um, in the Western Cape. We have one in Pinelands, out in the southern suburbs in um, Meadow Ridge. We have a club in Rondebosch. We have a club in Lansdowne. I'm just uh, talking off the top of my head now, <laughs> and I know there are there are a few clubs, uh, uh, sort of around the city, and um, and uh, in each club, the um, and they are affiliated to the to the controlling body. Uh, I we have a Western Province committee that manages the uh, the, the the clubs. We play according to the the world rules, uh, the world English. Scrabble Players Association rules, so there's uniformity, and um, and uh, that's essentially how it's being uh, administered. Okay. You know? I mean, of course, we have the national body of which I'm the chair. Yeah. So, for the competing Scrabble player, uh, what would a typical practice regime look like? Yeah, you know, um, in order to well, uh, um, to pay play competitively, obviously it's uh, the, the best way to, to, to start with is to affiliate yourself with, with the club and in so doing you learn, uh, obviously you have to be learning words. Uh, the nice part about, uh, about Scrabble is it's not only a game of words but it's also there's an element of num numeracy as well because you've got to be able to count, you've got mm -hmm. to keep tally of your score and it's all done in a very, in a pressurised uh, um, sort of environment where you only have an, a short mm sort of time limit in which to make a move and to tell your score and also to tell your opponent's score. So, um, so it has that benefit. It's not only in terms of learning words, um, 
uh, like one one uh, Scrabble player when I once uh, I said to him, now what's the meaning of that word? He said, Bach, you know, Scrabble is not a, a, a game of meanings, okay. it's a game of words. However, though, it does, it does benefit you if you know the meaning of the word because then you know whether it can be pluralized or whether it cannot be pluralized, you know, when you Absolutely. play. Absolutely. But uh, obviously in any sport, you practice at it, you learn words. Mm. Um, uh, if you're wanting to become really good at playing Scrabble, you, you, you swat up words, you swat up combination of words. And um, the, the, the important, the central part of playing the game is to use a word against an opponent because, you know, you, you accumulate points or, or, yeah, well, points. And the whole idea is to win. So, um, yeah, so that's the exciting, the exciting part of, uh, of, the, of the game. It's very so the, the great players then um, are separated from the good players by their repertoire of, of, of words. Of course, their word knowledge. Yeah, their word know? knowledge. And uh, I know uh, we had, uh, we had a um, international tournament last year, South Africa's very first international tournament, and the world's number one player um, was, uh, was one of the players, and he, he, he spends about four hours a day swatting, uh, studying and swatting up words. He doesn't work, he plays Scrabble professionally. Professionally. Yeah. Do, do us South Africans have that luxury, any of our oh, South Africans? There's, there's probably about one or two uh, of our top players that, uh, that that's their main, their main focus, mm. is, uh, is uh, to, to uh, prepare for tournaments. So yeah. last year, South Africa held a very prestigious international tournament. Tell yes. us about that. Yeah, we uh, called it the Cape Town International Tournament. It's, a, it's an idea I played in the, the European Open um, uh, the previous year. And then when we were at the tournament, uh, most of the players there from, from the different countries said, oh, we'd love to come to Cape Town. Can't you uh, um, organize a tournament out there? And that's when the idea was born. Um, so we then we went about, uh, organized the tournament and uh, put it out there to the, the various federations around the world. And we had 20 of the world's top players that entered. Oh, wow. Uh, it was an absolutely magnificent event. And um, uh, I have to, I was chairperson of that committee, that organizing committee. And I have to give a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, uh, credit to that committee because the president of the world body, uh, he was also present at the event. And he, at the end of the event, said this was one of the best organized tournaments in the world. Wow, and, uh, who was would? Quite a, quite a, yeah. quite a, um, um, a credit to us. Uh, but then again, you know, if you're wanting to do something uh, and compete internationally, it's got to be based on the international standards. Sure, the exciting, um, yeah. the exciting, very exciting Scrabble and, and, world. And the, 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 the great spinner for us in terms of that international tournament was because we had 20 of the world's top players uh, participating, there was an enormous um, media interest. So we had literally all the mainstream media interested. The spinner for us as Scrabble South Africa was the awareness that it created. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, because it's all part of our strategy to, because Scrabble is not really a known, a known sport. As, a, as an official As competing an official sport. federation. Yeah. And um, so it helped us with that awareness creation. And it also helped us with our development Scrabble uh, initiatives that we work with the city. We uh, started in schools. And although it's still in its infant stage, mm -hmm. but you know, it started. Yes. And we do have interest and hopefully we're going to uh, get the next world champion coming from, from this country. The, uh, 20 or from a school, perhaps, even. You never know. Uh, in fact, yeah. uh, part of the, uh, the uh, world championships, every two years there's a world championship, and part of that is a junior, uh, junior world championship as well. Mm -hmm. Because they're obviously, you know, in terms of uh, continuity in any sport, it's got to start from grassroots level. And... Um, and uh, uh, so what we, we'd like is maybe in the, in the next year or two to be able to send of our juniors to the World Scrabble Championships. Is the World mm. Championships the highest competing level for your sport? Absolutely, yeah. In fact, it's happening in November month in uh, Kenya. For the very first time, the World Championships is coming to Africa. Wow. Uh, uh, I was about to say that in 2015, the World Champion 
came from Nigeria. Uh, Nigeria is an extremely successful country in the sport. They have hundreds of thousands of players. In fact, it's organized at school level. It's part of the school curriculum. And wow. we're trying to, we eventually will get there. Uh -huh. uh, we're sort of trying to, to copy their, their model. Uh, but, you know, it's a process. Okay, Gerald, so this is a relatively inexpensive sport compared to, to other sports. Yeah, I would say that. But, you know, there, there's, always, there's always that type of financial commitment. Uh, you know, board costs anywhere between 250 and 300 rand. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm talking the, the proper Scrabble playing board. Um, so that, that's essentially your hardware, and of course your 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 um, God, sorry guys, uh, your um, clock, the uh, yes, chess timer, yeah. yeah, the timer. Uh, but that's what it is. Yeah. And uh, obviously, you've got to have the uh, material, the study material, in terms of in terms of a Scrabble official Scrabble word word mm -hmm. list. Uh, but as you say, it is inexpensive comparatively speaking mm -hmm. to other sport, you know. So uh, and it's uh, it's accessible, you know, to uh, a table, to, 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 yeah, to chairs. kids. Yeah, uh, you know, a, a school could invest in maybe ten boards, and um, and that's that. That's all they have to to, to invest in, and uh, and maybe somebody who a teacher who shows an, uh, an interest. And it's purely just management and coaching and guidance and a mentorship and that's it. And we as a Scrabble Federation, we are 24-7 um, available to assist in uh, whoever wants to start anything like that. We have people in our organization that would go out there and assist and guide mm -hmm. and just get the show on the road. Have you yeah. managed to initiate any development projects? Yes, we have. Uh, we've got it in certain schools. And as I said, uh, we're still very much in the infant stage. Um, uh, you know, there's a, by having these international tournaments, it does create an awareness, mm -hmm. you know, and it does create an interest. And uh, not everybody is physical. Not everybody plays physical sport. There are people that would play a mind sport, like your, your chess, and Scrabble falls into the same ambit of, of that type of sport. So. Yes. So, um, and it's something we encourage. And the, the, the benefit for, for learners, uh, for school learners, is the fact that it's not only a, a, um, a, a vocabulary uh, thing, it's a numerical thing. So it's a combination of both, mm -hmm. you know, the numeracy and the, uh, and the, and it's a fun way of learning English. Anyway, yes, absolutely. You know, and uh, what I like about the uh, Nigerian model, and that's why they're so successful in the sport, is the fact that it's being supported by government, and it's supported by corporate, the corporates, mm -hmm. because it's a, it's a, it's a fun way in which people can learn English. And you know, if your communication skills are great, it has a rippling effect in terms of your your co your confidence levels, you know, and uh, and it definitely helps. I'm, I'm talking about myself personally. You know, when I got into Scrabble, your confidence levels is not as... Uh, my confidence levels now in communication is a hell of a lot better than what it was then. Okay. And, uh, and, and in that doing, and that's where we're coming from. So we'd like to assist our society. Besides, like you know, what sport does. Uh, sport not only does it make you physically fit, but it also has a, a, an effect on you as a person. And, uh, and Scrabble is, can do that. And we'd like to encourage people to get involved. Really. Lovely. Yeah. Now, now back to the, the upcoming world champs in Kenya. Yeah. Has the South African squad been selected already? Yes, we have. Uh, so because of our uh, Scrabble population in the country, each country is allocated X amount of players. Right. Uh, for example, let's take a country like America. They would have 25 spots, 25 entrants, where South Africa is only allowed two. So we've uh, just recently selected our, our team, our representatives. So they'll be going through to, to Kenya uh, now in November month and representing us there. And we certainly hope they would, uh, they would do uh, well. Who are your top achievers thus far? Uh, well, uh, the, um, uh, the two guys, the, they are two, um, two, two players going up. He's the number one player in South Africa, the current South African champion. Uh, it's Trevor Hovelmeyer. Uh, he's uh, based up in Gauteng, as well as um, uh, Andrew Goldberg. He's the uh, other player that's qualified. 
Now, in order to qualify to play in the World Championship, you've got to be ranked number one or number two in the country. Right. Yeah, and that you get through participating in tournaments and obviously doing well, mm. winning it for that matter. So the more you, well, the greater your numbers, the more spots you'll be allocated for the yes, next Yes, indeed. World and champs. also in terms of how well your your uh, your representatives do in the World Championship. Yes. See, if our guys, uh, both our, uh, our, our players end up in the top 40, uh, there are 100 top players for, of the world in the World Championships. If they're in the top 40, then we get an extra spot. Excellent. You know, yeah. Excellent. Now, how can people get more information about how to join a league and get started? Yeah, well, uh, what they can do is they can visit our website and uh, the Scrabble website, and then it will give you a rundown of the, the clubs in, in the Western Cape in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there are contact numbers there, and they can get hold of us, and we'll be more than happy to welcome them into, into our. Um, into our family. Family, yes. <laughs> yes, and uh, that's the idea. And um, and with us, with the development Scrabble that we started, we uh, we very excited about the young the young players coming through now. Mm -hmm. And you know, Scrabble, like in any sport, it's a it's a process. Absolutely, uh, and it's an evolution process. You know, yeah. you start at a point and you uh, end up wherever you want to end up. Do you also yeah. have a presence on Facebook? Um, yes, we do, but uh, we're not very. Uh, Active. Uh, uh, we're not very active. It's uh, it is part of our uh, our plan to that in terms of just uh, getting out there in terms of social media, getting out there to the market to uh, to interested players, mm. and uh, that is something that we're working on at the moment. I just want to touch on something. I spoke about the, our international tournament we did last year. On the back of the success of that one, we're having another one in 2018. Cape Town International. Uh, the Cape Town International Tournament. We're having one again, um, and this time we're doing it uh, a little let's bigger. Uh, bigger and better, <laughs> I would imagine. Um, and the, the, uh, why are we saying bigger? Uh, because we're being a lot more inclusive. Uh, you know, um, uh, it's like tennis where a player plays and he acquires rating points. So what we did was, in order to, to encourage the the lower rated player we've now uh, divided the the tournament or championship into three sections the gold section that's where the the players who have 16 uh, 1600 rating points and above mm. so your number one player in the world his rating points his rating is like 2400 or 2500 then we have a silver silver section so 1599 from uh, 13 from 1400 to 1599 rating points and then people that have rating that are rated 1299 and lower just in order to make it as inclusive as possible okay. so that's where the 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 bigger comes in so, so when will be the next Cape Town International? Uh, it's going to be it's going to be on the thirtieth of January. All right, of, uh, around the corner. <laughs> yeah, it's a five-day event, and it will end on the fourth of February. All right. Uh, yeah. And your venue has that been established? Yes, yeah, it's yet? been established the Nelson Mandela um, Eastern Boulevard um, Hotel. Um, that's where it's going to be held, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You're and uh, nice. like you know, in any sport, and particularly us as a development sport or a really small sport, um, sponsorship of money is a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. And um, anybody listening out there, uh, corporate or private, uh, we'd be we'd be very interested in hearing from you if you corporate interested. team buildings, Gerald. Eh? Corporate team buildings with yes. Scrabble yes, at indeed. the centre. Yeah, hey. but uh, we we'd be very interested uh, for for people who'd love to support us. Yeah, because the, to to host uh, an international tournament of this caliber does cost a bit of bit of money. Mm. Even uh, your development efforts, getting the sport into the schools, that costs oh, absolutely, money. Absolutely, absolutely. We yeah. have people who who volunteer right now, uh, coaches and mentors who who volunteer right now, and it and it will be just uh, nice to support them. You know, Absolutely. just in terms of travel costs and, and that sort of thing. And they're really doing something really great for the community as such. Okay. You know. So to yeah. round up, we've got the World Champs in Scrabble in Kenya. Yes. And you've got the upcoming next Cape Town International yeah. event. And thank you, Mr. Gerald Davids, for coming and telling us about your exciting sport. And <laughs> uh, 
while telling the Western Cape and the rest of the country that this is a sport you can actually compete in. Oh yes, absolutely, and I'm so grateful for this. Uh, it all helps us in our, yeah. in our awareness of the sport, you know. Okay. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. It's great being here. Thank you. Well, folks, um, there you have it. If you want to join Scrabble and compete officially and even have an opportunity to go to the World Champs, go to their website. If you're a teacher, a parent, or even as an individual want to join the sport, head to their website and you can get the details there. After the break, we'll be joined by Street Athletics, so don't go anywhere. <laughs>